All right, let's go over the a quick size comparison of the new VanQuest Tech 04 versus the VanQuest Dendrite Large and the My Hill People Gear Large SAR kit bag. <clears throat> All of these are roughly around, I believe, 3.8, 35 to 4 liters in that general range. This bag's 4 liters. I believe the Hill People Gear is like 3.8. Dendrite somewhere in that general ballpark as well. I've had some people say that the Teco is too large of a bag and not practical to use as a sling bag thanks to its size. I personally do not see that. It is now this Dendrite is loaded out. We're going to take and change that over to the Teco just to get a general idea. Um, but generally speaking, I don't see where it's much different. The share a pretty similar footprint if you put them back to back here it is taller yes so you are gonna have you're gonna have a little bit taller pack but I just don't really find it to be so much of a deal that it's gonna be impractical for carry so let's just go in real quick Show some of the features of the Teco, and then we'll take what's in this dendrite and put in here just to kind of get an idea. This is not a full comprehensive review. This is not the loadout that's going to be in here. This is just kind of a first look for people to get an idea of it. So right here on the front, we do have our hook and loop field. Inside, we've got our bright orange lining that VanQuest is famous for. Now, this is not hook and loop. This is just a ripstop orange nylon. So, you've got this in here, this, like I said, not hook and loop. Inside, we've got our traditional organizers, just like what the Dendrite has. You've got your elastic loops here. You've got your couple slip pockets that are bellowed. And then on the front cover, you have your large see-through mesh zipper pocket. And it does have hook and lining on it, though. Everything in here that is orange is hook and loop, except for this spot right here. This is that ripstop nylon. Now, as you can see, I've got a organizer panel already put back here. This is not uh, included. This is something I've purchased separate and put in there because I'm going to try to... My goal is to make it set up similar to how I have my... 5 by 7 admin here my hill people bag so phone chargers I've got band-aids and bandages inside chapstick uh, pocket bellow and lighter probably won't carry a pocket bellow in this one my plan with the Teco is kind of make a urban version of my kit bag so a little bit more friendly looking a little less scary and have it more tailored to urban settings than what my kit bag is which is right now my EDC bag in and out of work but primarily set up for outdoors use so I want something primarily set up for the city so that's what the Teco comes into play and then on to the back zipper pocket back here you do have hook and loop here on the back panel as well as your ripstop orange nylon inside here now, I've had some people complain about VanQuest not having a dedicated concealed carry pocket. I believe you could easily use this one as that. For size reference, here's my MMP 2.0 compact. We will see. It will fit in there, but it's a little tall to be able to quickly get out. So, I would probably go with like a Shield Plus, P365, the new Bodyguard 2.0, something with a shorter grip than that in order to be able to conceal in there. But you could conceal in there if you had a small enough pistol. On the bottom, we've got some Molly webbing for a lashing extra stuff too. I have right here, One of the TK1 tourniquet pouches. 
I've not decided if I'm going to put this on here like what I've got on the bottom of my kit bag. So this is the TK1 in wolf gray. Even though this is shadow gray on here, I want the black tourniquet holder because as you can see, it's going to match up better. But I'm not entirely for sure yet if I'm going to put this on the bottom. That was kind of what I had initially thought was to set it up like what I've got the one on my heel people. I did not pay attention enough at Blade Show when I looked at this though to see which way the molly was running. So I'll have to put this on here with some zip ties, which is no big deal. But I just haven't decided if I want to do that yet or not, or if that's going to kind of mess up my idea of a low-vis urban setup. But we'll play around with it. If not, or you can mount it on the side, because you do have webbing here on the side. So if I wanted to run it right off of the side, you could. Or if you wanted to run one of the Hydra water bottle pockets. That's a quick overview. You do have new quick adjust strap here that you did not previously have on the dendrite. Your dendrite adjustment was just a traditional tri-slide buckle. And then you had to roll up your slack with the Velcro keepers. The dendrite had a removable waist belt, but you had to unlash it off of here where this one now has quick release buckles on it. You've got channels here to tuck your snaps into so that they are good and concealed out of the way. So tuck those in there. Now you've got just a tech pouch as they call it or admin pouch. If you just want something to carry by handle, slide down in a bag, use it as a separate organizer, whatever it may be, you've got it. The strap is the same width as the dendrite. It is still your soft, flexible seat belt material, so it's pretty comfortable. New darker brown. Vanquest logos than what you had on your dendrite, which I think kind of blends in a little lot better. Personally, I also like this more darker gray. Even though my outdoor stuff is a light gray, I like running a little bit darker gray like this. Just kind of, I don't know, kind of more modern, I guess, or techy, vibey, urban style. I'm not really hip on all those words. So, Let's go ahead. I won't fool putting this strap back on, even though it's fairly easy to do, but fishing those back out. Oh, oh, there we go. I guess you could also, if you wanted to, being that this is a full channel all the way through here, you'd have to have a narrow belt to do it with, but being that it is a full channel, if you wanted to put this on a belt, you could put it on a belt as well. A lot of different options for what you could do with this. Now, something that I have talked to Michael about at VanQuest, and I suggested to Michael and James both, was offer the male side of these buckles separately with like a molly attachment on there or some way to be able to attach this on different packs. And then that way you could dock this onto a larger pack for, you know, going in and out. If you wanted to say dock this to your laptop bag, and have your laptop <clears throat> your electronic stuff like that in there and then just this is your quick grab and go little edc office bag per se you know easily be able to detach that off there now you've got your just your edc bag if you want to run out of the office go grab you some lunch or a drink or something across the street you got your little edc bag there handy to go but when you pack up the end of the day to head back to the car you can just clip this right on your laptop bag and away you go so it's something I've suggested. Don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I think it'd be pretty cool if you could, if you could integrate a modular system like that. But now let's go ahead. And right now this dendrite is set up similar to my, or basically a small little grab and go range bag for use with my rimfire rifles. That's what I shoot the most of here around the house. So I've got this pretty well set up for that. Front pocket there, as you can see, are 
just magazines for my CZ457. We'll just go ahead and toss those right in here. Now this pocket is taller. The bag, of course, is more taller. Uh, also, this front panel is a little bit more, it's a laminated panel, so it's got more structure to it versus this front panel on the dendrite, which as you can see is soft and loose. This one's actually got a little bit of stiffness to it. It's supposed to give a little bit more room. So, magazines right there, no problem, just like in the dendrite, you do have a little bit more room in there, available now. Alright, we've got three 50 round boxes of 22, 50 round box of 17, 100 round box of 22s, and 23 round M&P mag. Let's see, what do we have here in this front pocket, anything? A spare battery for my scopes. Nothing in the back pocket. Alright. And then in the very back here, I have a couple sets of earplugs, range finder, my weather meter. So, let's see. Now, one thing I do, I will say, this bag is taller just a second now that these are empty. so this bag is definitely taller than your dendrite there's no doubt about it 100% it is taller and it is a little bit longer I wish that strap would come off the dendrite easier it would make it a lot easier to see but it is taller what you don't get though that I just noticed See how wide that opens up. This bag does not open up as wide at all. It's a lot more narrow bag and does not stand open. Dendrite, you've got a nice big opening there. Not so much with this. It is definitely a narrower pack. So while they're the same volume, you get that volume in the dendrite from it being a taller, slimmer pack. Where this one is a shorter, wider pack. We'll see how that's going to play out loading this ammo out here. Put the long box, put this 100 round box down here in the bottom. 50 rounds up here. One millimeter and 17. Now, that's a 23 round M&P 9mm magazine. It will stand up in there and zip. Will not stand up if I had all the same stuff in there. I tried. It'll stand up in the dendrite now. But as you can see, zip all the pockets up so it's, as you can see, it's a little bit odd when I stand it. I, I don't know if it's showing on camera, but I can feel it. To get it to stand up, it kind of bulges. There you go. So, that is it in there. I don't know if you can see that odd shape that it's got on either camera view. But, when I had all the ammo in there, I could not stand it up. I had to lay it down sideways. It was not permissive of it, because... It was too tall once this was loaded out. See how it stands up above it there? Where in here, it's actually down below it. So there's an example of the height difference in it. Now it's in the back slip pocket. I can still zip that up even with that standing up right there or in one of these elastic loops. Definitely if it's under elastic loops because they'll go all the way to the bottom of the main pocket. So there's kind of a look at a quick loadout. We'll see if this back pocket is big enough. I don't think it's going to be. No. So once all of that is in there, this back pocket is now basically a slip documents pocket. You're not going to get much at all in this back pocket of any thickness. Like range finder will fit, kind of, but now you've got an awkward bulge there i can fit my weather flow 
in there okay but that is it so that lays in there all right you're not going to get much anything thicker than that in there with this current load out. as you can see there's not a lot in this center pocket so it's going to be interesting when i actually do start loading this out uh how i'm going to load this out and it not end up swelling out very big but we'll we'll figure it out i'm not going to have as much of thick stuff in here like this like i said this is going to be more of an urban setting so phone charger battery pack first aid maybe some head for uh earbuds i want it to be able to run a small water bottle in here i don't know now i may have to do something different using a hydro water bottle pocket hanging off the side which will be fine but i was wanting kind of a more cleaner look than having stuff hanging off so i don't know we'll just have to play it bare and see as time goes on i've got to got to work on getting me an actual list and come up with what it is but there is a quick overview of the new Teco 4 and kind of a size comparison to the other stuff oh now that this is empty i'll lay it back out here with the kit bag and the dendrite so you can see all three of them side by side yeah i did not realize just how much difference there was though in the depth of these two bags so we'll see we'll see what we come up with as far as changes between the two of them go you know really i don't see a big difference or any big changes really i do i do like the taller height that was something that i did have issues with on the dendrite was that taller height or that shorter height sometimes trying to carry stuff in there i found that it wouldn't they wouldn't uh, stand up very well it would kind of cause weird angles so that is nice that this is taller i don't like the lack of depth in it i've said that a couple times now but that's only my big thing otherwise i think it's pretty similar a little bit better functionality i like the taller pockets on the front zipper side but we'll see i use the dendrite as my edc bag for about a year before i switched to i done put my carbide up before i switched to my carbide and then for my carbide i switched to my kit bag right here my kit bag's been my go-to ever since just because it is so multifunctional i never really carried any of my bags as a sling bag or going in and out of the store or anything like that my small edc bag like this has always just been in and out of work when i'm set up at shows or festivals i'll bring that bag with me in and out of work i think i said that around the house very rarely if ever did i actually carry one of these bags with me you know going in the store never carried it like that or yeah that's yeah i just never really carried one so it didn't bother me that i set this kit bag up and i've been using it but i had there have been plenty of instances where i would have liked to have been able to grab my adc bag taking it in somewhere with me but just this unfortunately in today's times this kind of bothers some people with the way it looks so to draw a little less attention i'm gonna set this up start running that just keep this for in and out of work probably search and rescue stuff hiking camping things like that more more outdoors related where it doesn't doesn't scream oh my goodness skilly but there we go guys that's one final look here at them and we will call this good i'll do a more in-depth review on the teco once i get it loaded out and get some time under so thanks guys keep your knives charged your lights sharp y'all have a good one